on the surface, like you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So really. So anger has to be within us, right? I mean, and is, is it a kind of like a? Um, yes. Like if I. Anger is emotion. But isn't it like uh, if if you're a bottle of pure water and I shake you up, say insult you, or whatever, or say whatever, it's not going to bother you. But if you if there's sediment in there, we'll call it the anger, and I shake you up and say something, the anger's got to be there, already, yes. right? Yes. It's not okay. All right. So somebody can make you angry if you have anger inside. You. Right. But if it's not there, so nothing to get angry about. Right. Okay. But all of this doesn't come by intellectual thinking. Mm -hmm. By living, practicing, meditating, you cultivate compassion. So if you are constantly working on compassion, you know, like instead of saying this person did wrong, I want to punish them, instead of that, if you pity for them, you feel compassion, feel compassion. And what is happening today? Tramon Martin case and George Zimmerman, so many people are so upset. Justice system did not work. There's so much upset. So even they're not related or they're sentimental, but they're so much upset. So because of that, they're disturbing their peace mm -hmm. just to punish someone. Right. Even somebody was punished, what would you get? Right. So really, people hang on to the anger, and if the court case goes for 10 years, they're hanging on to the anger for 10 years. They're damaging themselves so much. They have no awareness that they're, exactly. that they're, um, that they're carrying the anger. They have no awareness yes. at all. On the other hand, you should not be coward and sit back. You should fight for your right. But fight in such a way that doesn't disturb your peace. And the greatest example was Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. You know, he fought the Britishers on the principle, but Britishers well, his best friend, they considered him the most reliable friend. He was sent in the prison, he was meditating in the prison, writing, so he had no anger. So if you do anything, not because of you have anger, but because you don't agree with principle. So you fight for principle and not at on individual level. See, most people fight for individual level. Jim, you oh, anger. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I've had uh, anger issues throughout my life and whatnot. In the last uh, year and a half since I've been seeing you, I've more, made more progress with anger yes. than, than previous. Yes. And not because you were specifically trying to help me with that, or I was particularly working on that with you, yes. but just that's just one sidebar of all the, the benefits that I've gotten from you. The anger with me, though, uh, is, I think of it in terms of fear. When I get angry, I look to see what it is that I'm afraid of. Once I identify the fear, and it's almost always about fear, yes. uh, and I identify the fear, and then, I, and it's usually fear of loss. The greatest fears that we have are fear of losses. And, so, it, to relate to what you were saying, my, you, you were talking about what your desires weren't filled. Okay, yes. they were only half filled. Yes. Well, you get angry because you have a fear of loss of the other half of the desire. Yes. Right? Now, you're pissed because you lost. And it, well, at least that's the way it works with me. It's almost yes. always about fear, and the fear is almost always about loss. Yes. And I ask myself, I have to ask myself, just how important mm -hmm. was that? How important mm -hmm. is this? Is it really going to matter five minutes, an hour, a day, a year? And that's how I deal with a lot of my anger today. Mm -hmm. Now, when I get really pissed off, and I got pissed off like, last mm -hmm. week on the beach, and really wanted to take somebody apart, and uh, yes. almost did, but I didn't. And I was told by somebody that I should make amends to them. And about the last thing I wanted to do was walk up to this guy on the beach and say I was sorry. <laughs> uh, for, for real, I didn't want to do that at all. I <laughs> would have much rather just kill him right on the spot. But, uh, so the, having said that, that's all. all. The, see, again, look at emotions. Okay. I looked up in the dictionary.
dictionary and I wrote, <coughs> mind <coughs> is the cause of emotion. Emotion is like strong feeling of, about something. So it is projection of the mind. So if mind is more restless, more emotions will come. Fear is emotion. Loss is emotion. You know, expect as an emotion, like I want to meet someone like this, that. Respect is emotion. So if mind becomes quiet, then you are more connected to higher self, then you have control over all the emotions, and anger and whatever else. So restless mind is cause of many problems. Patanjali says, explain, all the desires are harmful because there are four things happen. Because research is always painful. Then the second thing is effort in effort involved. In attaining is painful. Result is painful. And then it leaves the impression like desire is not fulfilled. Then you want to fulfill. If you fulfill desire, you want to get it again. And so there are four different things. And then the loss of it is painful. Right. Even after you acquire it. Yes. So really all desires in the end are painful. Sanskara top of that four things I explained in this book. Yeah, I like that. That's good. I like that. Yes.